International travelers will no longer have to test negative for COVID-19 before traveling to the U.S. The CDC's requirement will end early tomorrow morning. The agency says it will continue to monitor the pandemic and reassess the requirement if the situation changes. The requirement for a negative test before flying to the States was put in place in January 2021. Now joining me now is travel expert and cruise genius Scott Lara. And good morning. Thank you for being here. I know this is exciting news for a lot of people. Absolutely. And good morning from Cancun, Mexico. This has been a challenging time for travelers because people have had to either buy one of those expensive tests to take with them on vacation, have that proctor, proctor test, and then you get uh, to come back to the U.S. with a negative test. Uh, many of the resorts like the Palladium Hotel Group have actually paying for that test so that people can comply with the regulations and fly back. Uh, the other day, I actually talked to a gentleman who tested negative uh, here in Cancun. He had to wait five days to fly back home. So this is great news for Americans, and they're going to be able to travel internationally again. That is perfect, especially if they want to go to beautiful Cancun, like where you are. But, you know, I am curious, you know, travel within the U.S. has returned to nearly to pre-pandemic levels, but international travel, as we know, is still lagging a bit. How much of an impact do you think this decision will have, uh, especially during this season? Absolutely, it's going to be a huge impact because a lot of people were concerned if they flew to Greece or Italy, maybe to catch a cruise or to come to Cancun, uh, Puerto Vallarta, to go to uh, Jamaica, that they wouldn't be able to get back, that they'd be stuck. And so now that the Biden administration has done away with this mandate, it's going to make it much easier for Americans to say, hey, I can travel safely and be able to get home. But airlines have struggled since COVID. We know we've been seeing shortage of staff and a lot of flight cancellations. Do you think they can even keep up with this possible influx? Absolutely, no doubt. I know Jack's Airport, they are doing great. I flew out of Orlando uh, directly to Cancun because it was a nonstop. I was through the airport in no time. So I firmly believe that uh, TSA and the government is working very, very hard to return uh, air travel to the best it can be. Now, granted, the airlines, they are trying to hire more pilots, but I'm here in Cancun. I had no problem, and uh, I feel very, very good about it. And how has other travel like cruises rebounded since the end of the pandemic? Oh, my gosh, cruises, they are booked out. They are sold out. Um, the wife and I were on a carnival ship a couple of months ago, and it was great. There were so many people from all over the country, all over the world on the cruise ships. Our, our carnival ship is back in business here in Jacksonville. That's sailing full. So cruising is back 110%. And what should everyone consider before traveling? Number one I rec thing I recommend is travel insurance. Just in case you lose a bag, just in case you miss a flight, travel insurance is critical because you're gonna have that peace of mind in case something does go wrong, you'll be covered. All right, I think those are uh, great tips, especially for people who are looking to, you know, enjoy some summer vacations this year. Well, thank you so much, Scott Lara. It was a uh, pleasure having you on this morning. Thank you, Brianna.